Welcome back to this ongoing series on the renovation of my 1949 Spartan Manor 25 camper trailer. In this episode, we'll be going over our attempt to treat the rust on the chassis, and then we'll show how we primed and painted it. So we're trying to use this rust dissolver to get the metal really clean uh, before we prime and paint it. And so here we've already wet it down. The instructions say to get the metal wet to break the surface tension. And then you can see this is sprayed on like a, it's like a thick gel. And so we're gonna get a paintbrush and spread it over the surface. And this stuff is not supposed to dry off while it's working. I guess we can do this as a test patch. And there's so many surfaces, 10 to 30 minutes, depending on how much rust there is. Okay. I'm not in it, am I? All right, so can we see any changes on the, on the surface? Maybe, is it coming out a little bit? The brush is red, so it must be doing something. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Part of the instructions of using the rust remover is to rinse it off really well after the 10 to 30 minutes and then dry it off. So this is our second application. We're just testing this one area because we're wondering if it's even worthwhile uh, to do. Here's some areas that we've treated. I don't know if it's really helping. I might just use the rusty metal primer. Again, rinse it well and dry it off. At this point, we just determined that the rust treatment wasn't worthwhile. We definitely have to use this rusty metal primer. That angle. Oh, it's really liquidy, isn't it? Yeah. A couple things to note here. Uh, first of all, I'd recommend using those nitrile gloves. Secondly, I would probably wear a respirator. Both my mom and I felt a little lightheaded after being in there with the primer for so long, even though the whole trailer is quite open. And thirdly, I'd probably start painting the bottom first and then coming back and doing the top, as we do with the final layer of paint. We're almost to the halfway mark. We're only using this rusty metal primer on the old metal. As you can see, there are a few pieces there that are not painted yet, and that's because we're going to use clean metal primer on that, which you'll see in a moment. Almost done! Trailer renovation 101. And then in this light, it's really hard to tell between this paint color and the actually rusty metal. Yes, it is. We're using this clean metal primer that's white to do all the metal that we replaced in the chassis. This is actually pretty tiring on the arms, and I'd recommend having a tarp or a cloth down on the ground to prevent kicking up so much dust. We better use this trailer a lot. Well, here's a very clear representation of what metal was replaced and what wasn't. So everything here is primed now, except for the, the wheelie bits. For the final coat, we're using this Rust-Oleum Gloss Black Enamel Paint. So I painted the undersides today, and I thought it would be a lot better to break it up into two days, doing the underside today, and then the top sides the next day. I got this aluminum color uh, to do the bumper and the steps. And I really recommend just buying some cheap disposable brushes because they just get destroyed doing this. Yeah, you really got to stir this stuff. I shook it pretty hard, but yeah, look at all that. All right, so that's the first coat of the aluminum paint. Looks pretty good. And you can see the brush strokes. And here is the step painted with aluminum paint. I said that looks pretty darn good. Here's the other step. Ah, crap. All right, got that bug off. Yeah, that paint, I think looks great. This mask is really good because this paint is pretty darn fumey. You know, wear safety goggles while you're under there. And I can't recommend these gloves enough. Definitely wear. This paint was quite thin and drippy. So when I was underneath the chassis painting above me, it was dripping all over the place. And I had laid down the tarp underneath to try and catch it so it wouldn't go into the grass. Uh, but unfortunately that just made pools of paint for me to lay in while I was moving down into the chassis. So it soaked through my shirt and my back was just covered in paint. If you're gonna crawl around under the chassis on a tarp while painting, I would recommend getting a disposable coverall suit. The last little bit of paint on the chassis over the primer.
Oh, it looks so good. I think I'd avoided even taking the rust off of these wheel hubs because I just don't understand them fully. What with the electric brakes inside and I haven't tried to test them. But really, I, I just need to prime and paint them anyway. So here I am finally getting to it. There was a bit of grease residue uh, on some of the wheel hubs. And so that's why I'm using the brake parts cleaner. It's finally this combination of spanner and vice grip that won the day. Hopefully I can get all these brake electrical connection nuts undone. I'd recommend taping up the terminals. As always, start with the primer, in this case, the rusty metal primer. That'd look cool if this part was silver or aluminum, technically. Ooh, how good does that look? For some perspective, here is day one of the chassis. Here's after we've done mechanical rust removal. And here it is all painted up. Overall, this part of the project cost about $180, and my mom and I in total spent about 20 hours doing the rust converter, priming, and painting the chassis. Thanks for joining us, and hope to see you next time.